Hey, it's MIB with some exciting news about our longtime sponsor, Baiyi.jp. Remember, Baiyi is the site you can use to shop Japanese shops and auction sites. They handle language barriers, currency conversion, and all that stuff, so you can easily get the hard-to-get things you want. Well, now the channel is officially a Baiyi affiliate, which means when you sign up for a new account using the link below, you still get 2,000 yen of free money, and it also helps support the channel as well. Baiyi has been a great sponsor and a service I constantly use myself, so sign up for your account using the link below in the description today. When Godzilla vs. Kong debuted in 2021, there were also two books released that were aimed at small children. Kong and Me, published by Legendary Comics, and... Godzilla vs. Kong Sometimes Friends Fight, But They Always Make Up, published by Insight Kids. Today I'm gonna show you both, so... Gather into the reading circle, kiddies, and don't worry parents, I'll keep it clean today. First up is Kong and Me, a story centered around the friendship of Kong and Gia, the Iwi girl seen in Godzilla vs. Kong, played by Kaylee Hoddle. The book features the two enjoying their time together on Skull Island, with many sneaky references to MonsterVerse lore. You'll see other Skull Island creatures like Leaf Wings, Mother Longlegs, Spore Mantis, even a Meyer Squid, all seen in the film Kong Skull Island. There's also an appearance by a spirit tiger from the graphic novel Kingdom Kong, as well as a fern bird, an unused creature from Kong Skull Island. Kong and Me was written by Kiki Thorpe, author of books such as How to Grow a Monster, the Meet the Creep series, and a number of stories for Disney. Kong and Me was illustrated by Nidhi Chinani, who also wrote and illustrated What Will My Story Be? She's illustrated I Will Be Fierce, and she's also illustrated for Disney on many occasions as well. Kong and Me is a tall book, and as of this video, it's only available as this printed hardcover. Some spreads in this video are official previews, but most of this is my attempt to photo these big glossy pages. I'm gonna read it to you, but since this is a children's book, I'm also gonna retcon the MIB lore just for this one video to introduce M.I. Baby an adorable little girl who will represent the target audience of today's topic. So here we go, Kong and me with M.I.B. and M.I. Baby, and it goes like this. Cloaked in mist, far out at sea, lies an isle of mystery. Here between the cliffs and sand, a mighty titan rules the land. Fists like boulders, roar like thunder, all who see him gasp in wonder. He horrifies the bravest men. His name is Kong. He is my friend. Many people are surprised to see best friends so oddly sized. We're no match pair, but we don't care. We think that we fit perfectly. As I like him and he likes me. At the beach, we think it's grand to bury our toes in the sand. And if I'm hot, it will be cool to take a swim in my own pool. Next, we can be two explorers scouting in the deep, dark forest. We'll spy the most amazing things like logs with legs and trees with wings. And don't mind more, I have no fear. I'm never scared when Kong is near. Later on, we'll be content with amusements we invent. I can create a wonderland when Kong is there to lend a hand. Each day's filled with discovery. When I'm with him, when he's with me. But sometimes when we try to play, our differences get in the way. Kong walks a mile in one stride. He's good at seek, but not at hide. When I pick flowers, Kong picks trees. He rips whole forests up with ease. He can be gruff, he's often crude. He has a monster attitude. At times we sure can make a mess, but here's the key to our success. Even when we disagree, I still like him, and he likes me. As friends, we help each other see the world a little differently. I show him how much joy it brings to care for all the tiny things. And when I try his size on, I could see the far horizon and feel how mighty I can be. We never know just what will be, but I know with certainty... I have Kong, and 
he has me. I really like Kong and me. I think the end result is very enjoyable. The illustrations are absolutely beautiful. The writing is poetic with good rhymes. If I had to nitpick, I just don't think this one page works. I get hung up trying to rhyme try his size on and her rise on. What really works for Kong and me is having the character Gia acting as a surrogate for the children reading this book. They can easily imagine themselves having a giant monster friend who is a little hard to tame, but will always have their back. M.I. Baby loves this book and on multiple occasions has pointed to Gia and said, that's me. It really connects with her. Perhaps too well because this book made M.I. Baby a Kong fan more than a Godzilla fan. So I have to re-retcon her away now. Bye! Godzilla vs. Kong, sometimes friends fight but they always make up, takes a different approach. It's less poetic and more playing and counting. Instead of an author, this book has a program developer, Kate B. Jerome. What? Actually, Kate is no joke. She's an award-winning children's book author, and she's been in educational publishing for over 30 years now. This one was illustrated by Carol Herring, who's illustrated a number of other children's books, and her work is the strongest point in this. I really love these images of Godzilla and Kong together, and some of these pictures are kind of surreal, with Godzilla and Kong at various spots around the world playing together. Like, I never thought I'd see Kong and Godzilla climbing the Empire State Building together. That's usually Kong's thing. Here they are holding hands, walking through a completely wrecked city, and the implications of this are pretty crazy when you think about it. Like, did they destroy the city and murder thousands? Here they are playing with the military vehicles that I can only guess tried to stop them just moments earlier. I swear, you could give some of these images captions and turn them into the far side. But my favorite is this page, which features a Mecha Godzilla. Why? Because this book shipped to me before the movie was released, and before it was revealed that Mecha Godzilla was even in the movie. I mean, Mecha Godzilla being in Godzilla vs. Kong was the worst kept secret, but it was still a secret, so this page turned out to be a hilarious spoiler. Also, seeing the three of them palling around as friends is really something. What's odd about this book is that it's all about how to be a good friend. A good friend always plays fair. A good friend knows when to take turns. Kong and Godzilla never really fight in it. In fact, this page reads, a good friend finds ways not to fight. The title of this book doesn't match with what's happening in the book like at all. There's also a counting game in here, as you can see with the numbers around the book. Each page asks you to count something in the picture, like count two yellow slides. The whole counting thing feels like an afterthought, like the art and story came first and then someone was like, let's pick out random things to make kids count. The book is unique in that it's a children's book that has both Godzilla and Kong, and you don't see that, well, ever. And again, shout out to the excellent art by Carol Herring. Will the next MonsterVerse movie bring more children's books? We'll have to wait and see, but right now, these two are all we got. And it's not bad. Not bad at all. I like the part where he makes a mess. Do you like Kong or Godzilla? Um, I like you. Ah, that's very cute. <laughs> <laughs>